longer. I was going to say, I just pissed off myself in post, and I <laughs> somehow sick these claps, and I'm like, you should have done three, I not that, 20. I thought you were going to say, I just pissed myself, and I don't, I was like, not while I'm drinking, man. No, that is completely wrong. <laughs> I just pissed myself. <laughs> like, fuck, that was good. <laughs> I'm not committing to this anymore. I just pissed myself. Oh. Oh, so mm-hmm. good. Fun times. We have fun yeah, here. great. We do. We have fun here. Yeah, it's a good time. Mm-hmm. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Media Jerk Off. I don't know what episode we're at. Is this episode four? I four! Welcome to the fourth episode mm-hmm. of Media Jerk Off, the show where media lovers come together to talk about all the media they recently consumed, and they have really passionate thoughts about it, and then they splooge their thoughts all over, and... They come all over your face with their opinions. It's a nice, big, group, circle jerk about media. Oh, I like that. Yeah, oh, that's good. I like mm. that, too. Uh, I am one of your hosts, Edward Zorich, and I am joined... I'm Allison. By... Oh, I'm Allison. Oh, it's going to be a really good intro. I feel like I'm going to save it for next week. What were you going to say? Wait, I was no. going to give you a title. Okay, we do it. We do it. We do it. Okay. <laughs> I'm one of your hosts. No, start it. Hi, I'm one of your hosts, Edward Zorich. And I am joined, as always, by the child princess from Never Ending Story herself. Did I say princess instead of empress? It's childlike empress. See, now I got nervous because I was ready. I had empress in my head and I was like, child wait, princess, like, now I have to come Not child empress, childlike. Because in the book, she's not really a child. She's infinite. In her wisdom and power. Oh. So she's child-like. But in the movie, she's a child. Yes, she is. I'm Allison. This is Allison Cox. And I am eating some Thin Mints. I was going to say Smarties. Thin Mints. All right, moving on. <laughs> We're a bunch of Smarties around here at this point. I have bread. Clearly. And bread, sponsored by Johnny Louise, my roommate. There it is. That's her. You bread. didn't. You didn't have to say her name. You didn't but have to spawn no. I want to give credit to her to fucking her bread. Yeah, it's <laughs> hers. I'm not eating it. It's just here. Yeah. You're a bitch. <laughs> no, no. You're a bitch. Um, Allison, how are you doing? How are you doing this week? Yeah, it was fine. I rear-ended a guy, and my brakes went out on my car. Two separate occasions, all within 24 hours of you each other. You rear-ended someone? <laughs> I knew your brakes went out, but I didn't know you rear-ended You someone. know what? I was stressed. I had to go to the bank. The bank closed in a half hour. Yeah. I thought he was going to keep going. I yeah. thought he... It was it was a red light. He was turning right on a red light. Yeah. And I was looking the other way. Oh, Allison. So I wouldn't get T-boned. But nothing happened. Both of our cars were perfectly intact. And he oh. goes... He goes uh, you hit me so fucking hard and nothing, oh. and nothing happened. And I go, I'm so sorry. He's like, my back is shattered, but hey, at least my car's okay. He asked me if I was okay. And I was just oh. like, ah. was he older, uh. younger? No, he was like, he was like our age. Oh. He was like, oh. he's like, I'm Danny. I'm like, hey, Danny. I'm oh. so sorry. I hate you. Was he like, hi, I'm Danny? Or was he like, hey, I'm Danny. You can rear end me whenever you want. Let the record show Edward Zorich just said that out loud. Oh, I hate myself. <laughs> I'm literally like... I commend you for oh, that, sir. That was good. I wish he said it gross. like that. Oh. I would have said, give me your number, sir. I have his number. I could text him. Oh! No. Yeah. This yeah. sounds like a romance. Ooh, I feel like yeah. every week I'm going to check in and be like, we're going to be like, I'm going to be like, Danny update. <gasps> he was kind of cute. Oh! I'm going to sip. Sip. Cheers to sipping. What are you drinking? Water. Mm. <laughs> I'm drinking beer and I just spilled again. That's great. All right. Um, Moving along. We don't have to. What do you mean? We can just talk about how We're I rear-ended, rear-ended Danny all our day. Our favorite media this week is the literal socializing media of just... Of just hitting someone with your socializing. car. Socializing. And hopefully it's Danny. Good old Dan. That's it. Um... If you couldn't tell, I'm purposely trying no, to stall. No, you can't talk with your mouth full. Why are you stalling? No, okay, so what he's doing right now is he's clicking on a folder and it says episode three. Oh, he's trying to pull even up though, his notes. Even though I didn't make notes for this week's episode, I'm very behind this week. Oh. So I'm just pulling up something else to reference. That's right. what I was like, before I go to the topic, we're missing something. We introduce ourselves. Our pop finals. Oh, fuck. Of the day. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I always fucking forget. I know, I was like, we're missing something. 
Mm-hmm. Um, Allison, what pop vinyl did you choose this week? I picked Leslie Nope from Parks and Recreation. Yes. If you didn't know, which you should know, unless you live under a rock or are dead. Leslie Nope is played by Amy Poehler, who, just recently in the news, told the NRA to go fuck themselves yep. for using a gif of Leslie Nope in their tweet. Mm-hmm. Yep. And uh, this one's for you, Amy. Also, I love you. Um, I wish she had social media. So I, I was going to say, I love my favorite part of it, too, is it wasn't even like she said it. Like, she said it, but it wasn't her account. She, they were like, also, Amy called me and told yeah. me to tell you guys to fuck off. <laughs> it was, like, like, so good. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's how it should be done. And that's, like, what I aspire to be, but mm-hmm. not yet. I'm too insecure. I need... Uh, I need likes and comments yeah. for me to feel good about myself right now. Someday I'll get to her level where I don't need social media. Leave her some fucking tweets. She's fucking lonely. Don't do... Just ruining this. You're ruining our own, like... Why? I was trying to make a Drew... For some reason, I was like, I'm going to bring Drew into this. Yeah. But... Yeah, no, I heard it, but you're you're distracting from how we are trying to be our own thing. Oh, you're right. Yeah. I, you don't want to be just a bunch of references to other pop culture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. You mean our whole show? <laughs> <laughs> um, what was that laugh? I don't know. Choose a copyright. <laughs> what, for that fucking Joker laugh? Ha ha ha. My pop vinyl <laughs> is uh, Symmetra, mm. who is a character from Overwatch. That's one of her turrets. <laughs> her turds. Turds, yeah, she poops it out. No, her turrets. Uh, Symmetra is one of my her favorite Tourette's. uh heroes in Overwatch, despite much of the fan base calling her cancer. Um Why? Because they don't like her. People oh, don't like her. They, she's, she's hot. She's toxic. I love her. She's great. Oh, I don't um know. Aren't you watching an Overwatch? I was going to say, and I felt it was necessary to pick an Overwatch character because uh, Overwatch Stage 2 started. I don't know what that is. What is that? Uh, So the Overwatch League is um, a league. It's basically an eSports league, so it's competitive. People are playing for money. Nerd. Um, And it's breaking a lot of records of just like... Just being nerds. Because eSports have always existed, Mm -hmm. but... Um, this one specifically was like, like there's teams, there's like, like there's a two LA teams, there's a London team. Uh, That's nerdy as hell. Soul team. Yeah. And it's really cool. And they compete right down the street from my office, um, at the Blizzard Arena in Burbank. It's pretty cool. That's cool. And I'm really into it. Cause they just made it now where it's like, if you tune in to watch the game, you get like in-game perks because mm-hmm. your accounts are linked. So now I'm like, I have more of an incentive to watch cause then it helps me unlock stuff in my game. So it's cool. What? That's a genius. It's actually really smart. Yeah. I mean, there's the argument, because, like, which I, I'm already guilty of it a few times, where it's, like, people just turn it on and leave it and go do other things, so that way they're still ranking up the points. Right. But then someone pointed out that, like, like yes, you're not really watching, but they're still getting views. And, like, to them, that's great. It's right. the same thing of when a they TV show is, like, hey, guys, even if you're not going to watch the show, please set your DVRs to, like, record it, because they still get the view then, because it shows mm. your TV's tuned into it. Yeah. Interesting. Did not know that. Wow. Yeah, no, it's really cool. Um, shall we move in now? To, our, to what? My first, top, our oh, first yeah. topic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My, my topic, the better one. Yeah, go for it. So, <laughs> Edward. <laughs> Edward. Edward Azorich, who lives down the street from Blizzard Arena. Um, yeah. What do you want to talk about? What really got your rocks off this week? So, last week? weekend, I saw a movie. It was really exciting. Yeah. Are you kidding? <laughs> What movie did you oh, see? Did like, do I have to just, like... Uh, it's really popular right now. Oh, my God. It's doing great. Oh, and the box office is... Wow, you're really tantalizing me. You're pulling me <laughs> in with this. I saw Black Panther. Oh! oh! Whoa! What? What a topic. How crazy. Um, And it was really good. And so Ooh. I was just going to give a little bit of a review about it. Just because it's really hot in the medias right now. Yeah, I haven't seen it. So what I understand is it's, like, Black Panther. Yes. Is a superhero. He is. Is it Marvel? It is Marvel. This is a Marvel thing. So it's a part thing. of the Marvel universe. So I don't give a shit. Not yes. necessarily on the whole cultural, the yeah. costuming, the whole uh, social aspect of it. I do care about. I'm just saying, fuck Marvel, you know? Which, uh, which one of my arguments I have been saying about it, because a lot of people are like, oh my god, you loved it. Like, should I go see it? And I'm like, are you a superhero movie fan? Right. I'm not saying like... There are many reasons to go and support this movie because it is so important. There's a lot going for it, which I will get into. But, like, 
it is still at the end of the day. It's a superhero movie. It's a Marvel movie. Just because, like, like, because I see people are like, "Ooh, I didn't like it," and people are like, "What the fuck?" And it's like, no, don't. It, it's not. Calm down. Not everyone likes every fucking Marvel movie. Like to me, so my review, I it, it may get slightly spoilery. I'm going to avoid major story points. But I may insinuate certain things and story topics that occurred. All right. Um, so forewarning. Spoilers. But very soft spoilers. Like I'm not gonna say a ton. Little uh, soft. Specific. L- little, little soft. Little soft poops. core. Soft core spoilers. Yeah, hardcore spoilers. All right. I like, um, I like that. I want to so, hear that. So um, this movie takes place Black Panther. Um, it takes place in uh, in the timeline. Shortly after, to my understanding, Captain America: Civil War, which was the most recent Captain America movie. Mm-hmm. What was um, that? That was in like the forties, yeah, fifties. No, so this that was the third Captain America movie. So he was in present day now. Okay. So now it's basically present day. Present day. Um, okay, that's the that's world it. is present day. Okay. Um, and it's the story of um, Prince T'Challa. Um, who is the Black Panther, and it's his journey of becoming king because based on events that occurred in Captain America Civil War, slash, I can't remember if it was in Civil War or in the last Avengers movie, I don't know, somewhere in there his father got killed in a big accident, mm-hmm. uh, who was the previous king, so now he is becoming the new king, aka also, like, as also, a part of becoming the king of Wakanda is also uh, becoming... It's called Wakanda? Wakanda is their country. It's a fictional uh, African country. Isn't that a place in Illinois? Is it? Isn't that where our friend, uh, isn't that where, uh, continue. I don't know. Um, I could be totally wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, but so, um, it's his journey of becoming not only the king of leading this, like, super revolutionary, super tech-filled, uh, very forward country, but he's also becoming the Black Panther, who's the one individual that, um... Protects it. So, so is he? Hu- is he human? He is human, and so there's a lot of like there's a ritual where it's like uh, when you become the king, you have to face this like test and this like uh, it's almost like a ritual thing. Oh, so and it's, it's spiritual. Of, it's spiritual, but he physically does eat a certain plant that gives him like the superhuman strength every single time, um, or just he eats it once and then he eats it once and then he has the powers and then there's some other stuff that gets into it. Like there's wow. a special juice that cleanses it and takes away his powers for certain wow. tests of. Yeah, it's... I won't get all into it. The whole thing will be me explaining my understanding of the background of Wakanda. Right. Um, But no, but it's very... uh, It's really good. It was um, great. It is still a Marvel movie in the sense of, like, you have your hero, you have your bad guy who says, I'm going to change everything, and I'm the big bad. And then the hero's like, oh, no, and usually has, like, a moment of failing, and then they always are end up triumphant. So that, where it is where people have talked about, like, the Marvel movies are starting to get, like, they're dragging more is because they're literally the same, like, outline, and then you just fill in all of your, um, like, it's just like, oh, instead of Iron Man, it's Captain America in this one. We're gonna throw Thor as the hero, and then it's like, it's literally the same plot. Mm-hmm. Um, but the reason Black Panther is so great and receiving so much more praise as it deserves is because, uh, similar to what Wonder Woman did just for representation of women, um, having a female director, having a female lead, certain plot points not revolving around the fact that she's a woman and, like, oh, she needs a man to help her. Um, this movie does it for, um, like, just phenomenal representation of just, like, African culture. Like, it is... Um, I've been watching so many interviews, reading so many articles, and it's just, like, it wasn't... They could have easily played it off, like, oh, it's just... Um, cause Wakanda is a like super secret city that like, like they, the world thinks of them as a third world country, but, um, they're like super, they're very secretive. No one goes to it cause to keep it protected. They have all the special, they have the special ore that is able to like, um, like forward them in the world of like tech and revolution. Like they are the That's most so supernatural. It's so cool. Um, and so, for that reason, they're very protected and secretive. They could have kept it like, oh, like, yes, it's in Africa, but it's separate. But no, it's, like, literally all the way down to, like, um, their accents that every actor portrays. Um, the amazing costuming that they did, apparently all pulled from different um, actual African cultures and countries. And tribes, yeah. And tribes. Like, it's so, it's beautiful. Um, That's cool. Oh, it's so good. Um, one of my favorite things about it, though, outside of that, too, is Tell it me. is so 
female empowering. Uh, it was the, I'm like, <laughs> my big rules don't hit the table. And I'm like, I can't help it. Um, the female characters in this movie were amazing. Like, it was like, he has, uh, T'Challa has this little sister named Shuri who, um, she is the reason that, like, Wakanda is so forward in their tech, basically, because she is possibly, and I think it's confirmed, like, the smartest individual in the world in regards to the Marvel Cinematic Ooh. Universe. Which is so cool, because most people are like, oh, Tony Stark, Iron Man, like, he's, like, uh, the playboy of the world and like right. with all his tech and he's got all this money and gets all the girls and like he's changing the world with this super fancy armor but then like little 16 year old Shuri who can make this super fancy fucking suit for her older brother who's the Black Panther she has the fancy gadget she used like makes her it's just like mind blowing her just like her wit her just like it's just like and again like in that situation they easily could play it off like oh she's just the annoying dumb sister that happens to be smart but it's like no, like, people respect her. Like, T'Challa easily could be, like, bothered by his annoying little princess of a sister, but instead he's, like, like they have this beautiful sibling relationship that is just so, like, wholesome, and it's still, like, wholesome. she respects him, he respects her. Like, it's just, like, I love it. Oh, um, that's so cute. I heard that they are going to make him uh, an Avenger. He, he is, um, he appeared in Captain America Civil War, and then he'll be in um, the new Avengers movie that comes out in May. And what's most exciting about the Avengers movie in May is, based on trailers, it appears that a lot of it will be taking place in Wakanda. Oh. Which is exciting because usually with Avengers, Avenger movies, you get a lot of, um, like, they'll put it somewhere where that way you get the single Avenger will show up, mm -hmm. but all of their side backstory characters that are featured in their own individual movies aren't. And obviously that's because of, like, budgets and like you can't have every single backstory character who belongs to a certain specific marvel hero appear right, right. but because they're in wakanda where t'challa is the king and it's like and we already see from trailers like um like there are characters from black panther that are going to be in it which is really exciting because mm -hmm. it's like what this movie showed me like i left and i said you know it still has its annoyances of being a Marvel movie. I love Marvel, so like I loved it. But I can understand where people are like, oh, it still fit that criteria of, as I stated, of like every other Marvel movie. But leaving it, I was like, what made this movie stand out so much was just like the new original characters of just like who breathed so much just like freshness into what the Marvel Cinematic Universe needed. Ooh, just I like from that. like freshness. Oh, it was so it's just like fucking fresh. They were amazing. Like it was just like the representation. Just like back on the woman thing. Like I, I literally turned. I went and saw it with my coworker because we got off work really early last week. I'm like, I'm gonna see Black Panther, and she was like, Yeah. Um, like Wakanda. Like on top of just like, oh, it wasn't just like the females were like just super strong and great, and like yes, they were respected, but it was just like Wakanda as a nation and how they just painted it was like the nation respected woman. Like, there's so many, like, throne room scenes where all of the leaders of Wakanda and T'Challa leading it, um, they're all sitting there, they're all like, how do we deal with this issue? And, like, what, I don't know what to do. And, like, any of the female characters would speak up and be like, I think you're wrong, this is my opinion, and, like, I think we should do it this way. And even in certain situations where, like, someone would be like, I disagree, mm -hmm. there was no, it was very civil. It wasn't like, it was more just like, I see what you're saying, but I don't agree. This is my idea. Whereas, like, in most films, I usually feel like they paint it like, oh, it's the woman speaking up. She's speaking out of her position. Or, like, right. sit quiet and, like, Ugh. Oh, go make us a sandwich, you bitch. Was, you know nothing. Exactly. And so that's why it's just, like, especially for a nation filled with, or led by a male king, and it's, I guess, it's always been a male king, at least to my understanding. In the comic books, I guess, females do take over at some point as becoming the Black Panther. But at least, I was like, is that ripping? I thought yeah. I heard something. I was like, ah! I think the world's uh, oh, just that ending. Did. Oh. I'll have to fix that one in a sec. Yeah. Um, but it's just like, the females had so much of a voice in that world, and it was just beautiful. I'm going to fix the blanket really quick. Okay. <gasps> I'm like, it's going to fall. Um, I love Black Panther. It's so good. Um, the message is also so are you, great. Are you still going to try to talk gonna, through I'm this? I'm like screaming. <laughs> <laughs> The message was so good. The costumes are Oscar worthy. Everything is phenomenal. Oh fuck! The blanket's falling. It's a sound blanket. We back. 
And we're back. Our sound blanket that helps att- or attempts to fix our sound levels. Nothing can fix our sound. <sighs> One day it'll be better. We need to. What we need to fix is this lighting. I know. That One day, baby steps. Baby steps. Baby steps. Um. Yes, women were great. I love Wakanda. It's beautiful. Um, my final note. I do want to say, although, um, which I've been seeing a lot of people talking about online, and I completely agree. Um, the enemy of this game, a game <laughs> of this movie, um, he played by, um, Michael B. Jordan. Is it Killmonger? I was like, I, all of a sudden I've like, I've known his name all week and then I don't want to say it wrong. Yes. Killmonger, Eric Killmonger. Um, it's still, like I said for, uh, this is like my third or fourth time already saying in the past 10 minutes. Um, it, this movie still fits the Marvel big bad guy hero the whole right. outline right right but killmonger was one of um my favorite bad guys that appeared um in any of the marvel movies in a long time because he felt more um i want to say like grounded in what he was fighting for like usually i feel like the oh. marvel enemies are very like um i'm gonna take over the world ha 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 whereas like he was like his motives were, I'm going to change the world, but it's going to be, like, we're going to do it this way. And it was just, like, there were moments, too, where it's, like, in his arguments of why he was doing it, mm-hmm. um, it which was, it was very topical today. Like, if it's one thing that you want to go, I'm, like, everyone should see this movie just because it feels so important of just, like, current world events that it's, like, you should go see this just for the message and just get, oh, just the really? idea. It's, oh, okay. but it's just, like, because... What made him so powerful, what makes an enemy so good is there's a moment in one of his arguments where you're sitting there and you're listening and you're like, okay, but like, I get what he's saying. Like, you're like, I am like... Like, if it was me, I, like, I could put myself in a situation. You're like, whoa. Like, okay. Like, yeah. I, you're, you're related. Like, mm-hmm. it was like, for the first time in a long time, they made the Marvel... Uh, and I'm a relatable. By no way am I saying, like, I'm like Killmonger. But just like... Based on what we know what's happening in our world today, you are very much like, oh, shit. Like, he does kind of have a point, possibly, I think. Right. Um, and even, and you see that even reflected in T'Challa, where it is usually, like, the good guy is super good. Like, Captain America is so pure, so good. The bad guy is so evil, so bad. And, like, Captain America isn't affected by that besides, like, I'm going to stop you. Whereas T'Challa, for a second, I think, too, as a character kind of changes and evolves based on something that Killmonger does Mm -hmm. because he is very like, Oh damn, like you are right in a way. And like, interesting. And because of that, it created this like better dynamic between hero versus villain. Um, and it was great. It was really cool. It was beautiful. I'm glad you enjoyed Um, it. Um, yeah, Black Panther was great. Um, I would say you don't you don't need to know. Whereas I have argued and said like, and now with a lot of Marvel movies, you're kind of screwed. Sometimes like understanding certain things if you haven't seen previous ones. Right. Um, that isn't really the case with this one. Although, like I said, there are events um, that do occur based on um, previous films. Um, it it's very clear and it is good at reminding you and setting up events. So you like you get the story, um, and it is very. Uh, uh, isolated and bottled that it isn't very much like there are movies that you can totally tell are like a branch into the next one like Avengers is next in May and at no point was I like ooh they're setting up like this is all just a big lead up to the big thing in May um, it is still a very much its own story um, wait so you said that the Black Panther was in a different movie he appeared for the first time in Captain America uh, Civil War and what, what year was that 20, I want to say like 2014. That's just amazing how how much planning. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's mm-hmm. just amazing that they just snuck them in and they're like, yeah. your movie's coming out soon, sir. It's great. And we knew. We knew the movie was being, we knew it was in production. But everyone, and it was really interesting because it was like, I remember personally, I was like, I don't know the Black Panther. Like, I you, I heard of him as a comic book character, but at no point was I ever like, oh yeah Marvel's the Black Panther like I was just unfamiliar right. so then when they announced that he was getting his own movie I was like oh okay and then leaving Civil War I remember being like damn 
like I'm into the idea of a movie with him in the center of it. Like, yeah. And this hey, was good. Hey. Like I loved it. Like, um, I definitely would say it is up there for me. I really bad at ranking all my favorite Marvel movies. It's been a while since I've seen a few of them, or the ones I used to consider. You favorites. loved Captain America. Oh, Captain America is <laughs> oh, my favorite Avenger. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. Uh, did you hear? Great. Did you hear that the uh, writer of the Black Panther, or at least the. Um, book or comic that this particular movie was based off of mm-hmm. was not invited to the premiere. No! And she was a <gasps> woman of color, I think. And no. she was just like, she tweeted, she was like, what? <laughs> like, oh, no. And everyone's like, what? Oh, I didn't know that. That's so strange. Like, why oh, would they... That's sad. Yeah, why would they Like, someone her? messed up. Yeah. <laughs> because, I'm like, this movie is such a celebration of just, like, African culture and yeah. just, like... I'm sorry that I don't remember her name, oh, no. but, uh... Yeah, that just really sucks. So they'll get her there for the sequel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, um, sorry we missed you last time. Uh, you can come back for this one though. Like not the one that you like at that wrote. Point, I would be like, fuck you. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> not like, coming. I'd be over. I'd be um, over. Black Panther's great. Um, if you are a superhero fan, go see it. Uh, I would say go see it unless you are really just like not into the superhero. Uh, genre. I think I'm gonna um, see it. It's really good. It is really, really, really good. You've convinced me. Um, and I am not a fan of superhero it's movies. It's just all part, I would say, even if you're not a fan of superhero movies, just like, the story, it's like, if you are a fan of production, and just like, the costume oh, yeah. department, the acting, um, the sets, the special effects, the choreography, it's beautiful. The messaging, like, just like, the message of the film is just like, something that a Marvel movie hasn't delivered, I think, in ages. Um, Good or ever like this I think definitely like Good. yeah like it's just like there's something that like I the fact that I could leave this movie and have something sit with me and just like think and reflect I'm like damn like that's damn yeah go see it it's a beautiful 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 work of art I love Black Panther I love Shuri we need more Shuri in the Marvel Cinematic Universe oh just wait till they get a pop of Shuri oh they do I haven't got her yet oh like it's out right now oh it's a, it's a thing Oh, well, it's beautiful. Why would you do an episode of the Black Panther if you you don't have? I didn't buy her yet. I don't oh, have okay. her. I wasn't ready. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, we are gonna go and take a quick break. Um, which by break I mean for us it'll be a few minutes, but for you guys it'll be a few seconds, and we'll be right back with Allison's topic. It's a okay one. It's fantastic. All right, bye, guys. Bye. See you in a few seconds. See ya. Country boy, I love you. Oh, no! <laughs> God. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Welcome back <clears throat> to part two of Media Jerk Off, episode four. This is my part. Part two is my part. The best part. Not really. First is the worst, second is the best. Yeah, third is the one with the hairy chest, which is also you, because if it went best. back... <gasps> Our special guest has to have a hairy chest. They have to. All right. Well, that eliminates a lot of people, so... Oh, wait, that's why we haven't had a guest yet. Yeah. <laughs> we have no friends. We don't... Male. Who... Or a hairy chest. I just... I thought about that, and I don't have any guy friends. I have you. What do, what do I have? Adam. I have Adam! I don't have any... Straight male friends, I think. That's the thing. I mean, it's not, like, the thing, like, oh, my life is so awful because I don't have any straight male friends. I'm just thinking, like, maybe that's why my life is above average, is because straight men are trash. I'm straight. (laughs) Whoa! Whoa! Plot twist. You said that so, like, convincingly. I just, like, a little bit inside me just went, what? Like, it kind of, (laughs) like... I felt it. You literally, like... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> uh, but seriously though am i it's no, all right it's no. one of those things where it's yeah. like i'm a millennial i'm like bitter about everything but so also going into true. her topic of why straight people suck um <laughs> <laughs> hey kitty uh, we love all of our straight friends i can make so. that i can make that a topic no please don't Oh my god, you just scared me. I can make that a topic. <laughs> I literally just jumped. 
Wow. Okay, for the record, Edward's roommate just came in, and he is panic. he's a little bitch. Not abruptly. So. Not abruptly. No, um, like not, no. What? Go on. All right. Second topic. <clears throat> Second Sorry. topic, yeah. The, um, <clears throat> it's my turn. I just, uh, I just want to say, what is it, 20, 2018? It is 2018. 2018. The 2018 Olympics, Winter, Winter Olympics mm-hmm. in Pyeongchang? Mm-hmm. Pyeongchang. South Korea. South Korea. I don't care. They're happening. I don't care. Um, <laughs> Thoughts. So. Thoughts on that. Thoughts on, do you care that the Winter Olympics are happening right now? Do you care that the luge is happening? Do you care that people are gliding on ice on little razor blades for feet to like Disney fucking songs? Which, by the way, apparently, Mm -hmm. my roommate told me, that this is the first year they could have uh, lyrics in their songs. Oh. I think uh, you couldn't do that. I think it always had to be like... I'm like trying to think of the two times I've probably ever watched it. And I'm like, I don't think there have been words. Interesting. But the Disney, the Disney, I walk in, she was watching it. Uh, She was doing her hair watching it. And I was like, oh, this is uh, Under the Sea. It probably wasn't Under the Sea. It was probably like part of your world or some bullshit. Yeah, it was little me. Um, what other, uh, speed skating, uh-huh. we got some skiing, yeah. maybe some snowboarding, we just got all this fucking frozen water. There's hockey. Hockey? I think it, American women's team won recently. I think that was the big deal. Yes. I saw. Women are so great. It was great. Um, but have I, like, just said anything that just, like, interested you, like, just, like, sparked a, a, a little glimmer of, like, mm-hmm. yes, let's, let's like watch that let's just like turn on the tv and watch people do the same thing over and over again and compete um i don't care it's so goddamn boring like which door is she coming in (laughs) um agreed um i the only time i've seen the olympics this part of the season yeah um outside of like clips and stuff i've seen on facebook that i don't consider that because it's not even really watching the event it's usually like a highlight of like blah 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 team one gold Mm -hmm. yay um it was in a diner uh with my roommate and friend Mm -hmm. um were you sober or not we were it was the morning after they had done a lot of drinking oh okay you were Um, perfect and i literally looked at one of the tvs in the corner of the diner (laughs) and i said oh look the olympics are on which then i also made a point and said i think it's so funny that i always am reminded the olympics are on whenever every year they're on Mm -hmm. whenever they're on um because i'm usually at a sit down meal in like a restaurant with TVs in it, uh, and it's always playing in the corner. Yeah, that is like, always the only time I pretty much ever watched the Olympics. That's how I knew the Olympics were on. Was I sat down at a B? Yeah. Sorry, Buffalo Wild Wings. People don't say B dubs here. No, I didn't say B dubs in the Midwest. That's that interesting. Um, Maddie saying she says B dubs. She says B dubs. Um, yeah, I was sitting down at uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, and I looked up, and I was like. There they are. That is the United States flag on that person's chest. Uh, yeah. I think ours we watched, I think it was the Luge. Maddie, nod your head. Was it Luge? Is that what we were watching? Yeah, it was the Luge we mm-hmm. were watching. America did not do well. <laughs> it was so heartbreaking. Oh, it not... was like, they were like, yeah. And you could tell it was like his first time competing at the Olympics. And you see like sweat pouring from his head as he's about to like <laughs> launch into the sled that's going to go 75 <laughs> miles per hour. <laughs> we're like, oh, baby. <laughs> like, oh. oh. Um... But, I mean, I feel bad because, like, the Olympics, a lot of important things yeah. happen. Yeah. And, I mean, I was going to say, I was like, I... And I don't care. Love the idea of, like, it is one event that happens, what is it, every four years? Every two years? Uh, the oh. winter... I know they switch off. The winter... I mean, they both happen every four years. It is every four. Yeah. Okay. So, every two years, there is an Olympics. There is an Olympics. Right. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Um... And I love the idea that it's like the it's an event where like the world comes together. The world. I do really love that and the representation, the messaging behind that. I love <laughs> a lot of the stuff coming out this year where there's a lot of um, like I just brought up like the women's hockey team won, um, and it's just like people are talking about just like a lot of the uh, post media stuff that's coming out of it of just like like one today I saw where it's just like um, one of the, uh, team members on the female hockey team with her, like, gold medal around her neck and her husband holding her up, looking at her, like, so happy. And they're like, it's just beautiful because, like, hopefully this shows of just, like, 
it kills that message of like the supportive wife who supports her like athletic husband who's uh. like the like the breadwinner of the family clearly and it's just like wow. you can just see in the face of this husband who's holding up his wife of just like like look how happy and supportive he is and it just showed that like it's just like the messaging of that is the beautiful message. like i love that or just like why the are they of, married aren't isn't every olympian like 16 and under <laughs> a lot of the time yeah. yes um or then it's just like the amount of representation of just like lgbtq um in the olympics this year especially from like our the men who are competing for america mm-hmm. who i see all over my social media all right. the time now mm-hmm. and i love it mm-hmm. it's just like and for that i'm just like it's beautiful because especially with something so i feel like for the longest time a lot about athletics are just like straight masculine men fighting each other for gold like that was always for gold it. like literally <laughs> it's so, now it's like i do like that it is such a public platform that so many people even like America, which can be considered more open and less filtered than some other places, mm-hmm. uh, other countries, it's just like knowing that it is something that so many other people who may not normally be exposed to such things do get to witness and do get to see. I do like that idea, but at the end of the day, it's still just sports, and I really don't care. I about really sports and competition. <laughs> don't care. And as a person, did you play sports in high school? Uh, not in high school. Well, have you played sports? Have you played um, team sports? So the fun thing about me in sports is, like, my parents, God bless them, uh, wanted me to find my thing that I at least played, like, one year of every sport that wasn't contact. So, like, I didn't do hockey or football because my mom that has, was like, like their no rule. hockey or football They rule. made a rule that you would play every sport for at least one no, year. No, they didn't make it a rule, but it was always just, like, like, I said yes. Like, I wanted to do it. But, like, then they always, like... But they, they said, they sat little Edward down and they said... Every year, we want you to do a different sport oh, no. that you can't hit your head. No, no, no. So it basically was like, like I played t-ball for years, and then once I got up to the point where like the kids started pitching, I was really bad at reflex and I couldn't like jump out of the way, oh. so I got smacked in the head, and I was like, baseball's done. <laughs> um, oh, soccer. Uh, I did soccer <laughs> and uh, running. Like that's constant running. That it was just like no, no for running. young little Edward. Um, oh, that one, I don't even think, I didn't make it through the season. I no. think I can say, I mean, I could be wrong. I could remember wrong. But I know, like, for every other sport I played, I made it through the full season. Soccer was the one I, like, quit. Like, I didn't. Soccer and track and field, you didn't make it through the I season? I didn't do track and field. You um, said you did running. No, like, running in soccer, like, is what oh. killed it. Like, it was like, no, no, no. Okay. Um, and then, like, volleyball I did for a long time all throughout mm. junior high. Mm-hmm. Wasn't that great. Mm. Um, but I loved it. That was a fun one. Basketball, I did for a few years. That was I was okay. At basketball. But like in high school, you were the theater kid. Yeah, no, I did not. My gym teacher, <laughs> my gym teacher during the volleyball unit, I always did. I did so good during the swim unit in gym class and the volleyball unit in gym class. Ooh, yeah. bitch. Um, and my coach wanted me to try out for the volleyball team. So like, even though I wasn't good in junior high, apparently something sparked in the uh-huh. uh, inner murals of gym class. Oh yeah, in, as uh, high as school. it does. Um. That's where you discover all your I think it also was just, like, the gym teacher appreciated that, like, I knew the game. Like, he was, like, so many of these other kids are just in my class, like, fucking around and, like, clearly not caring. Even, like, I really wasn't caring. And he was just, like, I like that I actually knew versus, like, when we played football in gym class or wrestling. And I was, like, peace. Um, No, it's not. Um, That's not a hit against volleyball players. Like, volleyball is. (laughs) Whoa, listen. (laughs) Nobody's offended. In Edward Standard, all of our listeners who are athletes who are listening, our athlete listeners. um, Calm down. I know. um, Here's some bread. (laughs) Just hold the bread. Be calm. Oh, it smells really good. (laughs) Okay, take it back. She came in and saw her bread on the table. Take it back. Um, But no, uh, but no, so my gym teacher was like, you should come try out for. The Either. volleyball team. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, you know, maybe I will. And also, was like, extra credit was going to be offered. And he was like, I think you should come. Like, I really want you there. And I was like, okay, we'll do it. And I told my parents. I remember, like, driving home from a dinner. <laughs> and I was like, oh, so, like, coach wants me to try out for the volleyball team. And both my parents were like, you felt that? It was almost like in a movie. You oh. felt that both, like, tense up. And you could tell, like, in the front seat, they must have made, like, eye contact with each other. And they were like, oh, no. I don't think you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Why were they so offended that you I remember being volleyball? like heartbroken and offended because oh. I was like, wow, that was my own parents, like oh. knowing their son was not good at sports. Like, not. And I was like, <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh no, 
still, I'm fine now, but it still haunts me clearly that I can literally remember pulling into my garage with them driving as I said Aww. it, and they were both like, <gasps> Yeah, I'm um, so sorry. That's why I stuck with theater, so it's cool. You could. It's okay. I probably would have been a bench former anyways, but part of me also was just kind of like, like, oh. That's like, cool that you had a male volleyball team. Yeah. we. Had, oh, God. My high school was so big. I was <laughs> just said the name, and I was like, oh, no one needs to know. Um, it's a very large high school with literally every single damn sport under the sun, um, and there's like boys have, and girls. Did you have frolf? Did you frolf? Never mind. We did not have <laughs> See, how come, how come my school had frolf? But it did not have a boys... I'm trying to think, like, we had, like, golf was boys and girls, swim was boys and girls, tennis was uh, boys and girls, um, football was only boys, um, yeah. baseball was only boys, softball was girls, soccer was boys and girls. What else did girls have? I think, did I say golf already? Like, boys and girls had golf. Girls had nothing! Boys had wrestling. <laughs> I lied. I think girls had badminton. <laughs> that is an insult. Which is awful. Like I that think that was me being sarcastic. Like, ooh, they have badminton. To our athletic ability. It's safe for their uh, soft female wrists. Yeah. You don't want them to get hurt, you know. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, what I was the point I was Sorry. trying yeah, to make. Yeah, I was like, a hole. The, <laughs> the point sports. that I was gonna make is even yeah. as an athlete in high school. Yeah. Because you played sports. I in played. High school. I played sports. Yes. I was the lacrosse. What else? Did I? Just lacrosse. Just I was the lacrosse, bitch. Um, even though I was like, okay, okay, sorry. What I was trying to get at was even though I did sports, mm-hmm. I literally hated watching lacrosse. Oh really? Sometimes my coach would make us like watch our replays and watch like professional lacrosse players. I say professional in quotes because like. I don't know. It's pointless. I think lacrosse is pointless. I'm sorry. I loved lacrosse. That was my favorite unit in gym class. I mean, it's super fun to play. Like, it's super fun to play, in my opinion, but I hate watching it. I hate watching sports. It's the... It's like... uh, Like, I don't even have words for it. How bored I am when I'm just, like, watching the little ball go back and forth. It's like, you know, like that pong or that ping, whatever. Yeah. Boop. Exactly. Yeah, That's actually. how it is. Except with, except it's louder. Yeah. And I'm more uncomfortable. I think I just love the intensity of like, cause I do like the thrill of like hockey and football where it is not really football. I like hockey. Um, and I think it's the idea that cause you're holding something that made it so intense. And I always think of like every time we played in gym, I mean, I couldn't catch. So that was like my biggest fault, but it was really fun otherwise. Um, but I always thought of like, Embracing my Regina George mm-hmm. when, like, you're doing, um, uh, like, her and Mean Girls. Mm-hmm. And they're like, she discovered lacrosse. And, like, body contact if, is what she needed or if whatever. I, if, I make the, if I make the joke that if you need to hold something or have body contact, just have sex, is that funny or no? <laughs> you like, okay, buddy! <laughs> like, not what? what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> what was that? What do you think I was going to say? I don't know. <laughs> and then, like, I thought you were going to say, like, a real detail about, like, sports or some hard <laughs> joke. And I was like, oh, wow. Not at all. <laughs> confidently say like just have sex because then what if it like fell short and you just were like what but no I was kind of it was the pause because you asked me you genuinely were like you know what I say and I was like what and I was like oh but I don't because I bruise too easily yeah yeah do you show that Edward literally just punched me in the shoulder. It was kind of like, I don't have to do that. I don't have to be here. I have booze and I have thin mints. I can leave. I, I like stopped I don't it. need it this abuse. Oh, I'm sorry. But the only thing I really liked about going to football games. Oh, first of all, I was also a band person. How funny. I was a sport person and a band person. Wow. I was like you high like school musical. Walton. Exactly. Yeah. But I can play yeah. the snare drum. I, I, I wish I had like a queen cool of the drum. Queen of the drum. I could play snare drum. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we, he got he got it there. Obviously, he was not in band. He was a theater kid. He I did orchestra. The... Oh, that's so beautiful. For what like you, two years. What did you play? Uh, I played the viola. No fucking shit. I did. Um, that's the coolest fucking instrument. We which, didn't have that. I, I mean, I'm just pulled out another dark hole. <laughs> What? Well, how you can't play the viola? How you can't? How your parents were like, don't play. Like, you were like, mom, dad. <laughs> I found 
found out years later. So oh, no. All I remember is, like, you, we would play the recorder in third grade. Right. And I guess during that unit, I think the music teacher would realize, to my, I really don't know, I never got an answer, but I think, over years of thinking about the situation, I think the music teacher would, like, process and be like, okay, that person's really good at, like, catching notes and following a music sheet, like, I'm going to recommend them. Because every, like, near the end of the year before going to fourth grade, which was, like, your new school, um... The orchestra guy. You went to a new in. school in fourth grade? Yes, yeah, bizarre. We had a weird school system. You weird. went to one school for kindergarten through third, another school for fourth and fifth, and then you went to junior high and then high school. All right, whatever. Anyways, um, but so he would come in, um, and he would, like, be like, then he would, like, pull people out of the music class, like, a few at a time, and be like, oh, like, hold this instrument, and, like, how do you do this? Like, Ooh, totally just that sounds testing sexual. us Damn. about, like, do you want to play the cello, viola, or violin? Firmly um, grasp it. Yeah. Well, so I apparently found out, and I found this out after this whole traumatic Oh my god, thing. what are you going to say? Um, what are you well, going to so say? Well, so apparently, you find out? I was not picked. But oh. I told my mom, and I was like, all these kids are being taken out and joining orchestra. And like, they're not asking me. Oh my god. So my mother, oh <laughs> bless her heart, my god. <laughs> like, I guess called the school or reached out oh. to someone and was like, Eddie wants to join the orchestra. Like, let him go. So then I had this whole thing, and I had this, like, I met, and that's how I got signed to play the viola. I do this for two years while in fourth and fifth grade, and then come sixth grade, I was like, nah, man, I'm out. Or no, I said I wasn't going to do it. And so then I, like, right before the school year started, I was like, wait, no, I feel bad. I want to do it again. So then my mom was like, go to the school. (laughs) And it's like, he wants to be in the orchestra again after, like, quitting. So they're like, okay. And then literally two weeks into the school year, I was like, nah, man, I can't do this. Because we had to get up like an hour You're a little for... bitch. I know. Oh my God. So you... like my mom fought for me. I mean, I don't know if it was really fight. They probably were just like, yeah, okay, he's back in. But like twice she had to be like, put my son in the orchestra. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was interviewed to join the band. Oh. But uh, I really wanted to play the trumpet. And then I literally went in and he was like, I think you have a bass for a tuba. And I was like, fuck this. So I was like, nope. <laughs> That's you, not the trumpet. You know how I got in the band? How'd you get in the band? I had talent. Yeah. <laughs> I probably could have done the tuba. Listen, I, I really wanted, wanted I really wanted to do the tuba, but I they said they tuba, said yeah. I couldn't hit the low note, so I couldn't oh. do it. But what I was gonna say is my favorite part about going to sports games, besides being in the band and playing, uh, doing yes. pep band stuff. I said, um, keep straying us off the Olympic topic of sports. Yeah, this is my topic. <laughs> and now it's like Edward's history with how he couldn't join the volleyball team or play the fucking viola. God damn it. And poor Dina's up here like, whoa, like <laughs> she shoots down one dream, supports another, and he fucks that up. Oh, I and love you, mom. <laughs> Thanks. God. Sure I do. Oh my shit! Drinking to that. <laughs> Fuck! You're stressing me out. I was gonna say my favorite part about watching sports is eating the fucking pretzels at the concession Ooh. stand in the fucking nacho cheese. Yes. I never watch the sports. If yeah. I could drink at 18, like it is in all European countries. Bless. I don't know if it's all European countries. Most European majority. countries. I would be shit faced for every single game because it makes it go by faster. Yeah. And um, bringing it back to the Olympics, <laughs> I don't care. Mm-hmm. I'm glad we had this discussion. The end. Yeah. I feel like um, my final note on the Olympics is because you just brought it up. I'm oh, like, did I? I don't care. I don't. Like, and I'm thinking oh, about like, oh, just going for that? other things other than the event. Like, I, the oh. idea of going for food. Um, my soup, one of my uh, individuals who I have worked for in the past um, just like went to the opening ceremony like the week before the Olympics started. The Pyeongchang. They one? were like, "I'm just gonna go to the opening ceremony." And to I the was Pyeongchang like, one. To, correct. Yeah. They just went to South Korea because they were like, "Why?" They just Let's went like literally it. a week before. Was like, "I'm gonna go to the Olympics just to watch the opening ceremony." Okay. And for that, like, because the opening ceremony is kind of beautiful, and like I get that, like that's cute. Um, and I was like, hopefully one day. I'll know I've made it when I can just buy plane tickets and figure out all these travel That's details so true. to go to the fucking Olympics yeah. the week before. Wow. That's so true. But then they came back. They went for the opening ceremony and then they came back. Like, it Fuck literally them. Was like, Fuck you people who can just travel. I'm stuck here in the city of angels and I just want to get out. The desert. And I'm here. I'm here. 
I'm here. She's here. She's queer. And she's... Drinking beer and... Drinking beer. That's good. Having... Shedding a tear because I can't do what your boss just did. But I do respect them. And if anything, they motivate me to continue moving forward. Oh, shut up. Um, No, they actually are really great. Okay. Um, All right. Yeah. Whatever. The Olympics. The Olympics. Maybe one day, maybe something will change. I feel like if I had a friend in it... Olympics, a two... 2.3 2.3 out of 5 stars. <gasps> oh. What were you saying? Um, no, I was going to say our sound blanket just fell. <laughs> so they were just like, oh, Olympics! <laughs> um, so sorry if we start echoing. We're almost done. Yeah. Um, no, I was going to say, I feel like my opinion would possibly change if like I knew someone competing, but then again, I would still just tune into their event. Yeah, no. It's done. Yeah. It's done. I don't even care. Like, I remember a girl from my hometown. I don't even remember. I think it was gymnastics, She competed? Maybe. She did something, and everyone was like, oh, my God, years ago. Because I remember they had signs all in her front yard. It was on the way to school every morning. Um, but why for that, maybe. Why would I bring up the Olympics on a media show? Like, I get it's on TV, but, it's like, media. I don't care. But like, yes, I feel like I should have... You have passionate thoughts about it. You're jerking off to it. Was that... Do I? Am I? Wow. Wow, I guess I am. I yeah, guess I did. you passionate thoughts about the I'm Olympics. I'm wearing a Buffy shirt. Oh, my God, that's beautiful. That's I'm it. I'm wearing a Tulane shirt. Tulane University. Nobody cares. Um, Nobody cares. Media jargon. off. Buffy rules! Um, technically a character from American Horror Story Season 3 went to Tulane. So, like, this is still technically media related. Uh, what? Great. Um, <laughs> let us know your thoughts on what you think about the Olympics. Oh, yeah. Tell me. Um, t- prove me right. Wait. You agreed with me. Prove me yeah. drunk. Tell us what. Do you like the Olympics? Do you not like the Olympics? Think about the Olympics. Let us know. Tweet at us. Let us know in the comment section down below. Um, Black Panther, are you going to go see it? Did you already see it? Did you like it? Let us know too. Um, You can find us on Facebook and Twitter at Media Jerkoff. Mm -hmm. Uh, You can find us at our personal Twitters. My handle is at Edward Zorich. Mine is at Allison Koss with a K and two S's. Yep, apples and candy. Apples and candy coins. If you hit the apples and candy coins, uh, you, you hit found you at the right place. Or, boo. Yeah, um, on whatever thing you are watching, uh, YouTube or listening on SoundCloud, please feel free to like, share, uh, comment, uh, subscribe. Because then we uh, get to be on iTunes. Because <gasps> then yes, uh, we're working towards, and then also just doing all this stuff helps other beautiful nerdy media loving individuals like us and like you find us. Um, great. The, wait, what What do they do on P? They're like, they're like, this episode was sponsored by viewers like you. Thank, Thank you. you. PBS. Oh, God bless. R.I.P. Um, what? Isn't PBS, isn't that a whole thing? Did they ever cut it? Wasn't that going to be a thing? They were going to cut that channel because of budget cuts or something, and they were like, we're going to use that money for something else, and that's what like, Sesame Street is now on HBO. HBO. I don't know. Oh my god! You can't just bring us up at the end of the fucking podcast! Thank you guys so much for watching. We love you, and we will see you next week with another session. Bye! Bye!